Hi, my name is Steve Houston. Welcome to my channel where I discuss all things related to financial services, their products, their compensation plans, the IMOs. I compare the IMOs and the standard is where I need to supply third party documentation because third party documentation beats any conversation to back up my rhetoric. I will do so. So you can make a decision about what IMO is best for you. Now remember, because people miss this at the end of my video, it's not just the IMO that you should be comparing. The IMO is there to provide you certain things and you go back and find my video right up here about what the IMOs do provide. Those things are important like compensation, like do I have to recruit in order to get promoted, the different types of carriers, uh, do they have training, are they accessible, can you call them. There's some IMOs that you can't even call them, you have to go through that network marketing type structure. But my point is, and why I kind of took a little right turn here is, is that people miss that the IMO isn't your only decision. You should be looking for a coach or mentor who puts their name on an application that can teach you time-tested and proven solid principles, skills that are required to succeed in this business day-to-day, -day, case by case, things like phone scripts, in-home presentation, product selection. These things are directly tied to your success. And those things should be taught by a coach or mentor that knows what you're talking about, that's still actively in the field producing and is sharp and can help you and teach you that combined with the right IMO. So don't get confused with my message. I think it's two things that require your success. Great IMO, great coach, great mentor. All successful athletes and business people have coaches and mentors to guide them through the steps required to be successful. It just compresses and shortens your learning curve. This week's video, I'm discussing the value of working a lead program and not just cold calling. And I promise to reveal what everybody keeps asking me on email, on text. The number one question is what is the best IMO? Number two is What's the secret to my success? I'm going to try to answer that in this video. So you're going to have to hang on till the end because I'm going to reveal it close to the end. So fast forwarding it won't work. Okay, so let's get started. The average life insurance in the U.S. today earns anywhere between forty and fifty thousand dollars a year. But this is slightly up from what historically has been for quite some time between thirty and forty thousand dollars a year. But it's up because we now have the opportunity to work leads and not just cold calling friends and family and doing the old door knocks, right? So that's why the income is starting to increase, which goes back to the point of why should you work leads? Everybody comes to me on the phone and says, hey, do I got to buy your leads? Do I have to buy leads? No, you don't have to buy leads. And it really depends on how much money you want to make in this industry is whether or not leads are for you, right? But the reason why the income is so low is most agents are on the wrong side of the compensation plan. Hear me on this for a second. They spend 80% of their time marketing, cold calling, door knocking, instead of closing. I get the same questions from my agents. Hey Steve, can I do my own Facebook advertising? Hey Steve, can I do my own YouTube advertising? Hey Steve, can I pass out flyers, post one in the country club? Can I go around and put flyers on doors? You can do all of that stuff, but it's a very, 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 very low rate of return, right? You're spending a lot of time, money, resources, trying to do that kind of marketing. When you're better off doing that, maybe a smaller portion of it, and dedicating your time to be face-to-face, kneecap-to-kneecap in front of people that actually are interested, right? Again, people spend so much time, 80 to 90% doing those creative things. I'm not saying you shouldn't do those because everything helps. It's like fishing. Having more lines in the water, you're bound to catch a fish. But what should you be doing the majority of time, right? You know the answer sitting in front of prospects, the ones that have their hands raised and have asked for more information on our product, which is life insurance. So let's talk about our business foundation for a second. 89 million mortgages in the U.S. today. The vast majority of these folks prefer that their families continue to live in their home paid off should they die unexpectedly. So that's our market. It's 89 million strong. Well, like any business, unless you do some marketing, you're out of business. Go watch my B Pays and Mortgage Station video, and I kind of cover that a little bit. As long as you find the right IMO that owns their own direct mail program or direct mail lead generation company and are not buying from a third party vendor, that's a rider downer. Ask that question Are you buying your leads from a third party vendor or do you do your own mailing, right? 
If they do their own mailing, they do that marketing for you and I. If you and I own our own business, like a brick and mortar business, like a subway, a yogurt store, a laundromat, a dry cleaners, you name it, whatever it can be, you'd have to do that marketing on your own or no one would know where you are or what you have to offer. Well, with a lead generation program with a good IMO, they're doing that for you. It's a done for you program, right? As long as that IMO is doing their own mailing and has their own lead generation house. So what these IMOs do is they mail a letter, as you can see on the screen right here, explaining the benefits of mortgage session or final expense and asking them to mail that back in. Now, they had to put the postage on it. They had to fill it out, name, address, date of birth, occupation, best time to call, and their cell phone numbers. That's a high quality lead. Doesn't mean you're gonna close them all, but it does mean they're interested. People don't go to that extent if they're not interested. Now, these IMOs, they don't just mail out a few of those. They mail out thousands upon thousands of letters and they get back one, maybe two out of a hundred. Where does other 98 go? You guessed it, in the trash can, right? There's still cost, money being thrown away in the trash can, but it's not your money, it's not my money, it's the IMO's money, right? And that sounds like a bad ratio, and it really is. But in direct mail, that's pretty good. But what it means to you and I, we only buy the ones that have raised their hands and said, I'm interested. And here's the real big deal. If it was your business or my business, we had to run an ad for our yogurt shop, our dry cleaners, our laundry mat, whatever it was, we'd have to put that ad in a coupon paper, in Craigslist, or on the back of a shopping cart in a grocery store, wherever, but we're forking out the cash for this ad, and we're not guaranteed any results, right? It's, if nothing comes in, our money's in the trash can. Right? We're guaranteed no results for our hundred, two, three, four thousand dollars, whatever it is, for the cost of that ad. See, the luxury of having an IMO, a good quality IMO with the ethical lead program is they're bearing the cost. They're co-opting the cost of the lead program, and their arrangement is, is that we'll mail for you what comes in. In other words, we'll mail for you, we'll absorb the cost of this mailing, right? We'll we'll take the risk away from you and what comes in, you pay for. That's it. And you can even tell them, hey, I want five a week, or I want 10 a week, whatever it is. They get 30 coming in a week, you're only obligated to pay for the five. Now again, this is depending on the IMO. And this is the only kind of a program that I use and that I endorse. I do not do mail drops, which do not guarantee you any results. So think about this for a minute. This is what you and I do every day in the mortgage protection final expense business with a leads-based sales opportunity. Number one, we call people that have asked us to call them. Number two, when we call them, we let them know who we are, right? Number three, they know what we do. And number four, they know what we had because they filled out that form and sent it back in asking for more information. And number five, they want what we have. The only thing they don't know is what they qualify for and what does it cost. And that's where you come in. And that's why it's so important to have a coach or mentor that can help you with that because product selection is your income. So then we set the appointment. We sit down with them over a kitchen table where they're maybe 45 minutes or less, maybe an hour to an hour and a half. If you're dealing with two people, husband and wife, and you're writing applications, we sit down with them, and if we can find them a monthly premium that fits their budget and protects their home against the death of a breadwinner, then they become our client. Here's a rudder downer. The more clients that we send to the insurance company, the more money that you and I make, okay? So if you're watching this video right now and you're considering the mortgage session or final expense industry, and you say, Steve, I wanna make $500 a month, you can. If you say, Steve, I'm gonna make $5,000 a month, guess what? You can. And if you say, hey, Steve, I need to make $10,000 a month, you can do that too. $20,000 a month, yes, you can. $30,000 a month, yes, you can. Now, you won't do it part-time and you won't do it spare time. If you wanna make those kind of incomes, you gotta be full-time. But we're talking about running 15 to 20 appointments a week to make multiple six figures. Why do I say you can do it? Because others are. Working leads with a good lead program with no recycling, no duplicating, no redating, no funny good stuff, no game playing. Good lead program is the only way to scale your income in this industry. It guarantees you're in front of interested prospects 
every week that want what you have rather than you being in the convincing mode trying to convince people they need life insurance and protect their families. And you can do that, but you can't scale your income by doing that and that alone. Okay, here we are. We're getting close to the end. And here comes the punchline. I promise to tell you the secret of success for the top income earners in this business. In being a mortgage section final expense sales agent. Are you ready? The secret is mastering the mundane. You got to get great at doing the same thing over and over and over again. Mundane activities that create multiple six figures in this industry. And here they are. Okay. So here it is. Number one, we get leads. We make sure we're working the right type of leads. That's a big, big, big rudder downer. We call each lead. We schedule an appointment. When we schedule an appointment, I like to pre-qualify them with a qualification sheet. The reason why is product selection is a big, 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 huge part of you succeeding in this business. Choose the wrong product, get them declined, no coverage, you're not getting paid. So I like to pre-qualify them going into the home with three, four options that they can choose from, not trying to figure that out around the kitchen table. That's how I do it. That's how we encourage our agents to do it, right? So we qualify them on a product and some coverage. We show up on time as scheduled for the appointment. We give a short, brief, educated presentation. We complete the paperwork. We assist in policy issue and underwriting. We get the policy issued and we receive our commission and they get their coverage. And then we continue our education and our personal development. It's that simple. There's eight or 10 things there that are critical to your success. That's it. It's a simple business. It's not complex. We make it complicated, right? But if you just work on mastering the mundane, focus on the activities, not the results for the first 90 days, the results will come. Too many people spend way too much time on the internet, watching videos, getting everybody's different opinion, and they never ever take action. You gotta get in the pool, start kicking to learn how to swim. Happy 4th of July. Don't forget, do all the things that YouTubers like you to do, which is mash the bell to get instant notifications, mash the subscribe button, give me a thumbs up if you like the video, and make some comments. I'll try to get back to you in 24 hours. Have a safe and happy 4th of July 2019. Bye-bye.